In this segment, we're going to demonstrate the ease of terminating our LMR600 cable with our EZ600 NMH connector, standard end mail connector, using a few simple tools. The connector has a gold-plated beryllium copper spring finger connector. First of all, we want to make sure we have a nice square flush cut on the cable. One means of doing that is using a coaxial cutting pliers. Just apply a little pressure uh, with a back and forth motion until you feel the center conductor. At that point, just apply a little more pressure and snap it. Next, we're going to place the boot, heat shrink boot over the cable, the ferrule over the cable. Then we want to take our ST600EZ strip tool using side one. First of all, you may want to look into that and make sure it's just free of any foreign material debris. Place that over the the cable and just gently with a, with, a, with a gentle turning motion just cut into the the core and the jacket. You see the material uh, there until it spins, spins freely. At that point you remove it. Next you take the deburring tool and you just want to chamfer the end of that center conductor. Just a few back and forth motions with your wrist to remove any uh, burrs off that center conductor. Next, you take the ST600 Easy tool again, using side two. Place it over the cable, and again, with a spinning motion, you remove the jacket. And you spin that until it spins freely. At this point, it spins freely, you remove it. Next, you want to take a knife or a razor and just remove the primer coat from over the center conductor. Just work the knife around the circumference of the center conductor and just with a one longitudinal cut and that pops right off. You have it completely exposed. At this point, you just take the braid and just gently pull the braid back from, from the core. Nothing more than just, just enough to get the connector on. Take the connector. It's going to fit snugly over the core. And you just gently push it onto the core until you feel it stop. At that point, you give it just a little extra push. That push is the beryllium spring finger sliding over the center conductor. At this point, take the ferrule bring the ferrule all the way up to the connector body. Bring the ferrule back, pull the connector off slightly, and then with a pair of scissors, just trim that excess braid back. Okay. Push the connector back onto the cable, this allows you to bring the ferrule all the way up and butt up against the back of the connector, which is important because when you crimp this, you want to make sure you're crimping as closely to the connector as possible. You don't want to be crimping out to the jacket, which will crush the dielectric. At this point, use our, our crimping tool with our LMR600 crimp dies. Open it up, place it over the ferrule and lock it, and again, crimp it as close to the connector body as possible. With, with this crimp tool, it will not open up until you've crimped it completely, ensuring a, a proper crimp every time. Just squeeze down, and you may need two hands, until you've crimped all the way, then the tool will release. You can remove the crimp tool. At this point, you'd bring your heat shrink boot all the way up, and you'd want to Overlap the back half of that connector body, maybe about halfway, with this adhesive lined atom shrink boot, which will weatherproof the ferrule in the back end of the connector. At this point, you want to take the adhesive lined atom shrink boot and slide it up about so that the end of the uh, boot covers about half or a little more than half of the back of the connector body. At this point, you want to take this. Apply heat, shrink that boot down.
what you're looking to do here is, is to shrink the boot down and also to warm the boot up enough to melt that adhesive. What you're going to want to see is a lip of adhesive uh, protruding from each end of the boot. At that point you'll know that there was a, uh, a bond, a, a good bond made there and the, uh, the interface will be watertight. Okay, now if you look, you'll see there's, there's, a, there's a lip of adhesive at each end of the uh, boot. At this point, you know that the uh, adhesive has been warmed up sufficiently to, to provide a good weather-sealed, weather-tight bond to the cable. This concludes the termination process.